Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, so welcome back to the Dutch Sea channel and what I'm going to be showing you today well, here are my two favorite micro FPV quadcopters and yes, these are both uh, Ishin Aurora quadcopters this on the left is the Ishin Aurora 90 and this is the Aurora 100 now, um, if you look at these two quadcopters it is pretty obvious uh, what b the benefits of this, the 90R, as opposed to uh, the 100. This one has prop guards and it has an, uh, a guard for the FV antenna. And uh, yeah, so if you crash this uh, Aurora 100 upside down, you will squash the antenna, and if you run into uh, branches or trees, these. Uh, Propellers on the 100 are uh, susceptible to breaking, yes. So, um, again, which is my favorite? Well, actually this one, the 100 is, despite its, uh, despite the benefits of the, the 90, this one flies more precise. It's also a little lighter, which makes it more nimble and... Um, yeah, so, but I do tend to damage quite a few propellers. Generally, uh, after a, a day of flying, I have uh, <laughs> f uh, four, at least four damaged propellers. So, what I ordered was this. Yes, prop guards. Now, um, I actually first came across these ones. And uh, these are plastic. And I was a bit worried if they were... Uh, rigid enough. Um, see if they are very flexible they will run into the propellers themselves and then again damage the propellers. So I also ordered these ones. These are aluminum and as you can see they run around the entire propeller. But now that I have all these uh, prop guards um, these plastic ones actually are pretty rigid, stiff if you uh, if you prefer, um, yeah, you can't feel that, of course. But I can't really. Uh, you, if I apply a lot of force, I can bend them. But the plastic is uh, reasonably stiff. Uh, these plastic ones actually come with screws, quite a few actually, and that's uh, necessary because they have a what? Uh, how thick is this? Uh, at least two millimeters. So you'll need longer screws to uh, mount them underneath your motors. These aluminium ones, I'll have uh, links to uh, both of them uh, in the video description obviously, um, are quite a bit more expensive. And they are uh, pretty thin, so I assume you'll be able to run your quadcopter with the screws that are already on the quadcopter. And one other thing, uh, the weight. Um, the weight, there's not much of a difference really. These come in at around 10 grams for the four of them, and these as well. So the weight is not a determining factor here. And yeah, so um, these ones, the aluminium ones, are they, they look good, I think. Nice uh, anodized aluminium, very nice. And uh, yeah, um, what can I say? Um, if you mount these on your quad top, so you can still hit branches, I'd say. But well, it's it's better than nothing. And again, these are quite a bit less expensive. So this will be a nice upgrade if you want to go lower budget. And um, yeah, aluminium, nice, looks good. And they are approximately the same color as the motors, maybe? Well, I'm not sure. Okay, the second question would be, uh, do these aluminium ones actually fit? So I'll uh, try to get those uh, installed. Let's see how that works out. And hachiki day. We have ourselves a quadcopter with prop guards. And uh, yes, the propellers still spin. So these prop guards do fit. And... 
if you rotate them uh, slightly you can uh, this hole over here corresponds with this standoff um, you can't you probably can't see the standoff but you can see the screw over here so that would add quite a bit to the rigidity of the quadcopter I'd say yeah that would be nice um, there is one little issue well yeah it would probably be hard to get to the USB connector with these prop cards on you would not have that issue with the plastic prop cards so oh by the way I also opted to use just two screws to hold down the motors um, offsetting the the weight gain uh, by the prop guards a little bit but I did have to use slightly longer screws uh, the screws that come with the quadcopter were not long enough to accommodate for those prop cards so keep that in mind um, yeah I've, I still feel that the plastic prop cards are a better deal but um, yeah this looks uh, funny right uh, with only two prop cards you can it does fit if you uh, put four of them uh, on their uh, it'll fit that, so that's nice and um, yeah I'm not sure I've only installed two of them for now because I usually break the front props so yeah maybe I'll uh, put the plastic ones at the rear <laughs> that'll look really funny so um, yeah I'm uh, gonna go out to the field now and uh, we'll just see if the quad still uh, flies nicely or maybe it uh, now is uh, just like the 90 a little less uh, nimble and precise who knows we'll see so here we go okay so I've got the Ishin uh, Aurora 100 here uh, with the plastic prop cards I went for the plastic ones this is a cheaper option so I first want to see if this actually works so we're gonna do an uh, FPV flight here and see how that feels here we go Okay, uh, so my uh, camera uh, decided not to record my uh, post-flight uh, recap. Um, well, no problem, we'll do that again. So uh, yeah, I had me a flip of death with the Aurora 100. Nothing uncommon. Um, but that's actually a good thing for this test, I guess. The quadcopter held up and what's more, the propellers held up in that crash. So that's, that's very nice. So uh, with these prop guards, um, yeah, it should make for an uh, indoors flyer as well. Uh, maybe a, uh, a parking garage. Yeah, for those kind of flying, this quadcopter now works out well. And uh, let me see, yeah, could I sense these prop guards being on the quadcopter? Well, not really. Maybe if I would fly uh, one with and one without back to back, I might sense it. But it flew fine, uh, apart from the flip of death, of course. But um, yeah, I'll uh, definitely keep uh, these uh, prop cards on the quadcopter. They are uh, beneficial uh, for me. Um, you fly the quadcopter more carelessly, so to speak. 
uh, around trees and such. So um, yeah, this is uh, definitely for me at least an upgrade to the Aurora 100. So uh, there are uh, links to both versions of the prop cards, these plastic ones and the aluminium ones in the description down below. Uh, again, I would pick the plastic ones. They are cheaper and they apparently in crashes protect the propellers uh, pretty well. So, I uh, hope you got uh, something out of that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you on the next video. Bye bye.